The Douglas XB-19 was one of the largest piston engine bombers ever built by the United States. Conceived in the late 1930s, it was designed as a heavy, long-range experimental bomber to test technologies for future large aircraft. Initially designated XBLR-2, Experimental Bomber Long Range, it represented the United States Army Air Corps' interest in intercontinental bombing capabilities. Construction of the XB-19 began in 1938 by the Douglas Aircraft Company. The project faced delays due to its sheer size and technical challenges. By the time the aircraft was completed, aviation technology had advanced significantly, making the XB-19 obsolete even before its first flight. Nevertheless, the Army allowed the program to continue as a flying testbed. The XB-19 had an enormous wingspan of 212 feet 64.6 meters, a length of 132 feet 40.2 meters, and a maximum takeoff weight of over 160,000 pounds 72,600 kilograms. It was powered by four Wright R3350 radial engines, which were later replaced by more powerful Allison V34 2011 liquid-cooled engines during testing. The bomber required a crew of 18 and had a range exceeding 5,000 miles, 8,000 kilometers. The aircraft first flew on June 27, 1941. It never saw combat or mass production, but it was instrumental in testing flight control systems, engine performance, landing gear durability, and high-altitude bombing equipment. It also helped engineers understand the structural stress of large airframes during extended missions. In 1943, the XB-19 was redesignated as a cargo aircraft, XB-19A, and used for a limited number of test flights. The last flight took place in 1946. Although there were efforts to preserve it for display, the aircraft was scrapped in 1949 due to cost and space limitations. Today, the XB-19 stands as a symbol of transitional air power. While it arrived too late to influence World War II bomber development directly, the knowledge gained from its construction and operation contributed to future heavy bomber designs like the B-29 Super Fortress and even early concepts that led to the B-36 Peacemaker. Its legacy lies not in combat, but in innovation, 